Welcome to my second YouTube video and um, today I have filmed a get ready with me along with a Q&A so you'll get to know me a little bit more for those who don't know me and please ignore this my skin has decided to erupt shall we say like this is so unfair like my knee so my first question was who is my celebrity crush hmm nah no, I don't even know why I'm thinking about it pretend to think about it my celebrity crush would be oh that's what I had to get Cole Sprouse oh definitely I absolutely adore that boy like see his films I think I've watched every single one of these on like Riverdale and Five Feet Apart and I've literally like re like binge watched <laughs> Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and Sweet Life on the like it's just I've just loved him ever since this trip like I don't know what it is like I think it's just the way he acts like do you ever like watch a film and then you're like so attached to like the actor because that's me man and i'm just priming my skin and this brush is just so soft so i'm just sort of going like this i decided to do my makeup first because i don't want to do my hair it bothers you and i've just used a primark matte primer and like some i guess it's like a primark brush as well it's just but no, I just absolutely like adore Cole Sprouse. Like, there's just something about him. That, like, it's just amazing. I'm just going to now conceal. I'm using my Revolution Conceal and Define because, you know, these bags need to go for a mat in my shopping. And it's so nice to wrap it on in there too. I don't know what you would need because. You can never conceal too much and I've got like a wee unibrow coming on and it's just a big no-no for me. No, I'm just gonna you know, buff this out a little bit. Um, my second question is what made me want to start a YouTube? Um, I thought I've always sort of wanted to do something like this and then with this quarantine going on I just thought you may as well and then there's like so many like people starting it as well and then I watched like a couple of people from Instagram like Morgan McKay and like Abby Maxwell do them and then like IGTVs and everything and I seen everyone having the confidence so I thought you know what I may as well just give it a shot like right. I don't know it's just it just sort of gave me the confidence a bit more the other people and time was doing it my third question is what have I been doing to keep occupied over this quarantine and um, you know what I don't really haven't really been doing much like I've just sort of been going to work and back and sleeping or I've been doing makeup like on these YouTubes nothing specially so it doesn't I'm just doing like a wee normal makeup today as well like I'm not doing anything extreme as you can see my skin would not be able to handle extreme today because it is an absolute joke I'm just sort of smacking that on everywhere every time you get out of this notion of saying the word smack for it's so annoying and then the second question Second, third, fourth question is what's my favourite series? Give me three because I need them. Well, well, that's another thing I've been doing over quarantine. I've been watching, like binge watching so much things. Um, what is my, like, my number one like top favourite series would be Grey's Anatomy. Like I would not be able to live without Grey's Anatomy. It's just just so good like I've always like 
know, I just put the wrong lids on them, thanks a lot. Um, it's just so good. Like, oh, see the actual actors in it. Oh, so dreamy, like. They're so gorgeous. And it's just, I don't know, it just seems so real. And, like, I want to be, like, a nurse. So, I don't know, like, it's just, I just, I just love it. Like, there's nothing else really to say about it. Other than it's absolutely amazing and that everyone should watch it. But the only downside is that there's 16 seasons and there's like 23 episodes per season and it will take you a long time to watch. And I started watching it when there was 14 seasons and I watched all 14 in three weeks. Don't even ask me how either. I just did. I'm just numb on my thumb. Anyway, and I'm not wearing tan. So I'm not because I'm not going anywhere to put on tan, so I don't see the point. Like, I don't know why it make me feel you and everything, but I just really could not be bored for that hassle. And Adam would absolutely go mental at the smell in his room. Um, another one, hmm, Wazers of Waverly Place. That is the like, series that I have binged so much over this quarantine. Like, I think of like. 10 episodes left, I really need to stop patting my face now. I give like 10 episodes left. Oh, and for foundation there, I just used, I got two new ones, so I thought I'd try them out, and it's actually quite nice, you know. Um, I I normally use the Revolution Conceal and Define matte foundation, but I felt like it was just, like, it's so, like, good on my skin, but the, minute my, the way my skin is at the moment, like, it's just so, like, I don't know what you'd call it, like, so in between like one day it's like really really dry and the other day it's like really oily so i just decided to get this revolution concealing hydrate radiance foundation with hyra i don't know what that word is and she had f8.2 and then i also got this other one as ardell camouflage high definition foundation and it's mixing together because this one's a bit dark and this one's too light sort of so i've just sort of mix them together and just smacked them on there we go again, smack. And now I'm just using a skin powder. Okay, so it's the same, oh, another series I would highly, highly recommend is Mona Heist. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. Like, it's so good. It's all about, like, what would you say? Like, robberies and, like, stuff. It sounds so boring, like, they break into banks and everything. And, like, it's like heists, obviously, it's in the name, and they go on for like like a certain length of period. Like, it's not like different robbery each day, it's like the same thing going on for ages. I don't really want to say too much because I spoil it, like, but the only problem with it is that it was originally made in Spanish, so it's like a voiceover and it's a bit out of time. But if you can cope with that, then honestly, go for it and watch it, it's so good. But what else? Like, it sounds so boring and it's well hard to get on to start off with, but then it's grand. I think it's really good. I don't know, what's the more series? I had so many in my head and now they've just gone. Mm. If you're into like medical stuff, The Resident, it's really good as well. It focuses more on doctors and nurses, whereas Grey's Anatomy focuses more on surgeons, which is a good difference, like, and what was our RuPaul's Drag Race? Oh my god, how could I forget about that? Like, that's just, there's no words for it, but love it. It's the best, the best series ever, and there's so much of it, and then there's a UK one, so... And for foundation, I forgot to mention that I used the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Foundation Brush. And then I put on my powder, I just used PH Cosmetics Number 2 Brush. Just, you know, drop it on. And I used the Airspun Translucent Face Powder. Now I want to tackle these bad boys up here. For they are an absolute joke. My lovely uni bro. Um, my next question is what's my favourite food? I love chips. Like I could have chips for my 
morning lunch dinner supper so I could um and then next one any books to read um I am currently reading The Secret by Rhonda Byrne it is so good like it just promotes so much positivity and it's like all about the law of attraction um like it's really hard to get into start off with but see once you actually get into it it is amazing like it just like helps you change your mentality like it makes you think different and everything like it's just I would highly recommend it because I love it and then another book like this book really delves into mental health and everything and it's just an eye opener on the mental health as well it's called Catcher in the Rye I read it for A level English I know that sounds so rude me saying that but I actually loved it like it was just it just gives you an insight and the, the mental health behind a character. But I, th I think that one's actually based on a true story. I'm not too sure. I can't mind now. But it's just amazing. Like it just, it's all about like depression and, and stuff like that. But it, I love that. I thought it was so good. And my next one is skincare routine. <laughs> Does my skin look like it has a skincare routine? Um, no, I don't really have a skin care routine. Skincare routine, to be honest, because my skin is very unpredictable. Anyways, like there's some days I would use like have like a skincare routine. The next day I wake up my skin like this, and you're like, how you like? And then there's some days then that I don't do anything, and my skin is like crystal clear. So you know what, I just leave it by, I just let my skin do what it wants to do. But then there's some days in that I would moisturise with this CN Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream Q10 with, there's that word again, Hyaluronic Acid. I don't know if I'm saying that right, like it's so complicated to say. Um, I, so, not, don't really like, I've not got like, the face gel from the doctors and stuff for my spots so I just sort of use that when my skin decides to break out but I'm currently living with my boyfriend for quarantine and that's down in the house so I'm not really used to it at the moment as you can see by my skin or not I don't really have a skincare routine so I don't I don't have my boyfriend being steady um I think it's like two years now. Two years, but we've been like friends for like seven. Best yes, friends for like seven years, I think. Something like that. It was so weird. Like we started off as friends and then, you know, we're basically living with each other now. And he's definitely listening to me thinking, what is she talking about? Um, so yeah, two years. I don't know how he's put up with me to be honest. He'll probably be sitting there agreeing, like, oh, I don't know how I put up with you either. Um, next one. Oh, such a big love you. Whoever that, that was, thank you very much. I don't feel like a babe at the present moment with my skin looking like this, but, um, well, thanks, whoever said that. The next question, I'm hoping, came from one of my sisters. Because it is who's your favourite sister. And obviously I'm not going to answer that because I don't have a favourite sister. They are both my favourite. I have two big sisters by the way. Um, and one wants a shout out but I don't actually have it wrote down so in the next video I will depend on how nice she is to me. Um, yeah. So I cannot choose. They're both my favourites are like I love them unconditionally and I miss them so much and I'm never going to hear the end of that now because I've said it you're going to be like oh you miss me you miss me and I'm like shut up shut it shut it you little bitch no, I'm just my mum will kill me for sure that she's probably watching this now and be like I'm going to kill you Shara. 
something like really strange with this lighting but yeah here's my eyebrows never mind this uppity stash as well but yeah next question when am i going to clean my bedroom i know for a fact that was from my wee sister because no one's in my bedroom and i haven't been living in my bedroom for like the past three weeks because i've been staying up here in my boyfriend's house so Shanice or Shanine, the bedroom is your mess and you should clean it up. Because see if I come home whenever all this is over, my bedroom's a mess, well then, you are getting the blame. Oh, and um, there, now I just use my Almasca brow cake in the shade Thunder for my eyebrows using my Cure Delay brush and I'm just putting on because my foundation feels stucky still. So it does. Um, and but I'm now with the Revolution. I got this new, so I'll give you some thing. Revolution powder, mega bronzer, and shape what you want. So we're just gonna speak on now. And there's no question. Am I reading any books at the moment? I just sort of answered them. It's the the secret by Rhonda. Um, which I will recommend again. So so good. Um, who are my favourite YouTubers? Hmm, there's so many, but my favourite would probably have to be Jeffree Star and James Charles. But I also, I've really got into uh, Molly Mays. Because Molly Mays, like, she's more, like, relatable, do you get me? That makes sense. And who's my favourite makeup artist? Um, my makeup artist, favourite makeup artist would probably have to be um I don't know how to say this, like I don't know if I'm saying it right, but um I'll just like MM Mitchell or whatever it is, and Stacey Marie and also C L E Clee makeup, I think it is. And another one for you, um, Kira McCune, I don't know how to say it, or Instagram names, Sia Sia, like, oh, so amazing. So they are just sort of bronzing everywhere. I'm just using some random wee brush. Um, where in the world would I like to explore? Hmm, I would love to explore Africa. Like, you know all them wee camps where like, all the wee children and all are? Like, I'd love to go there. I've always wanted to go there. So, if I were to choose anywhere, go there or like the Maldives, I'd love to go to the Maldives. They just look so pretty, but I feel like then once you'd get there, it's probably not as pretty as what it actually looks. So it might not be, I don't know. You never know until we get there, but I don't see me getting there anytime soon. Especially not with quarantine and all I haven't even booked a holiday. Like, me and Adam had been talking about going on a holiday for, I don't know how long, and um, we didn't even book one. We were supposed to, and it's not happened then, so. What is the first thing I'll do when we can actually decide? Well, I would say for my work, because I work in the community as a care, but when we could actually go outside, I would first go see my family and my grandmas and my wee baby cousin because I actually miss them all so much and then I'd probably go see my friends. Yeah, I'd go see my friends and then I'd probably go on the drink. I get out after seeing my family, I will be hitting the local bar with my friends, if that makes sense because you know what? It will be absolutely jammed and the crack will actually be empty. So I will be doing them things in that order. Go and see my family, go see my friends, hit the local. Because I don't need to know my friend about running away. Getting away from as quickly as possible. Like I'm surprised I don't have killed you. So sorry, I really maybe no such there, am I good in that? What's the next one? 
Do I want to create my own makeup? I'd love to create my own makeup. Like, create my own makeup is like the bait of a dream. But I don't know what I want to create. Like, I don't know. I love my own brushes. But then, would anyone actually buy them? I don't know. I love an eyeshadow palette, anyways. Like, with all my favourite colours. Definitely. I'm going to need to stop looking up the board with this. Now, that air was the MAC Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. And I at least this look. I dropped it and, and smashed it half. Like, my heart just shattered. I'm going to put on more bronzer. Because that looks a bit dirty or something, doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, I said I would give a review on this. Well, I don't know. I get lots different on camera that actually does here, you know, like in like real life it sort of does have them warm tones to it. Obviously because it's called warm bronzer. But I don't know what it would look like in photos. We'll see after. I'll give it the review in my next one. To see how it goes on through the day then. Because you know like some bronzers like would develop during the day and get pure like black. Because them browns are sort of giving me the heebie jeebies, to be honest. Back to the question that I like to create my own makeup. Um, I, I'd love to have my own eyeshadow palette. With like, with like warm tones, like browns and stuff like that. But then I'd love like a lovely like bright one, like yellows and greens and turquoise. I would need turquoise on there. Turquoise is like my favourite colour. So it is. I love a good emerald green too. I don't really know what colour this would be. Like on camera here it looks more turquoise as well. But this is actually like really green. So it is. And I love to create my own lipsticks. Oh my, my own highlighter. Oh well yeah. That just really answers the question. I just love to create my own makeup. So it would just be so amazing to have like your own makeup brand. I wonder would you get everything for free? You probably would, wouldn't you? You're bound to like. I don't know. We'll soon see. I will make it happen, you know, law of attraction and stuff. And the next one, what would I like to have achieved in five years? Well, that's actually really hard, you know. I don't really know what I want to have achieved in five years. Like, hopefully now, like, I get on the uni in September. I'm going on to do nursing, hopefully. Um, but, like, I'd love to be, like, successful with, like, my YouTube and my makeup and stuff as well. Like, it's just so hard, like, because I don't really know what's going to happen like I don't really know hmm I really don't know that's a really hard question like I'd love to have like a successful like makeup page and, and stuff like that but I'd also love to be a nurse so I don't really know I love both but I think that's a bit too much to ask for isn't it hmm I think that's a bit too much to ask for you know what, people, I don't think I'm going to even bother doing my hair because it's straight enough, I think. I'm just going to straighten it as well. I don't know whether to straighten it or curl it, but I think I'm just going to keep it straightened. So, I'm not going to put on eyeshadow or anything today because, you know, I really could not be bothered for the day. I don't know why I put lipstick on my finger. Um... I got an assignment due tomorrow and I haven't even started it so I think I need to get that started as well because you know if I don't get them done then I'll not get them done and then I'll have nothing achieved so I won't. If I was stranded in the desert and could only have two makeup products what would I choose? Hmm that one is a really tricky one you know because like you're on an island deserted by yourself 
would you want me to look good or would you just look a mess like no one's gonna see you i don't know so i don't know if i want lip gloss or would i want um, eyebrow mascara or do i want mascara or would i like bronzer depends where the island is so like say if the island was on or like a sunny island like um, beside like or something like I'd get a lovely tan. I wouldn't need bronzer then because I'd be like naturally bronzed. Then highlighter, hmm. See it would be between mascara, brown mascara, highlighter or lip gloss. I don't really know you know. That's a really hard question. I think I would have to choose eyebrow mascara and mascara, you know, because like if I was on an island there would probably be like plants or something, I would just like sprinkle it on this highlighter and then I'd get like a plant and like like a flower and like rub it on this lipstick a lot. I would have to be mascara and eyebrow mascara. Definitely. When I think about it now, the more I'm drawn to it, like eyes definitely wanna be them too. That was a really hard question. It's really a question you sort of think about, doesn't it? Like, what would I be able to survive without for the rest of my life? But then you wouldn't need foundation, like, because realistically, who's going to see you for a stranded on an island, a deserted island, like? Oh, say if I was stranded on, like, an island and it was cold, I would not be able to deal with that. Like, it would be, no, nah, like, no, it wouldn't be for me. Like, I'd see if I had stranded on like, a desert island and like a des desert or deserted, I don't know. I think it's deserted island. I'd be lying there, like, in the nude, sunbathing because there's no one else there, like, making sure I get all them rays. Like, it'd be well done, like, we're only four. No, and they sleep on it. I think they ever seen any films and like, what film is it? Like, The Jungle Book. I'd love to be like, Tarzan. It'd be amazing. Tarzan, Jungle Book. Which ones I don't, but I don't have a clue. But they're both in the jungle, aren't they? All right. Like, say if I was like on a desert island in the jungle, like, oh, I'll be basic, like, all the animals and all, like, I'd actually be like your next. What do you call them people? Zoo person? I'd be your next Tarzan, put it that way. Um, biggest makeup inspirations. I sort of really answered that one in the. Who's my favourite YouTuber and makeup artists? My best memories. You know what? I have a couple. I will never forget the day that it was like whenever I was like, I think it was like seven or so, and me and my cousin were sitting in my granny's hall playing our DS's, and she had like a turquoise blue, I think it was, DS, and I just wanted to play with her DS, and I was like, I'm getting that DS. So I like, like tried to snatch it off her to like give to me. So I bit into her arm, and like she was bleeding all right. She had to go get like, the doctors and get it sorted. Like I was actually a devil. And then another memory. Oh, I was in a bar in Strabana. It's called the Central, and I was absolutely paralytic. And I don't know why or what happened, but I was just sitting on the chair, like out in smoking area, just sitting. Just here and listen, I just plummeted down to the ground head first and had like literally I was lying like like hunched over like my head on the ground like I don't know what happened and then I like rolled over and then I started brushing my hair while I was lying on the ground like I will never forget that because I've got a video of it and I'll never like unsee the video because it's just so so funny like I just don't know how it happened I really don't favourite alcoholic combo mm. Definitely cherry brandy, it's my advice. Has to be. That is my go-to drink. And if they don't have any cherry brandy, then I'm not a happy girl. Um, hold on a minute. That air is pretty much primer water. As you can see, it was two point. Absolutely amazing. So, uh, that has to be it. But see if there's none there. It would be in um, black and red ball and no one come at me for sharing that because I know it's so hard for you but I just don't really drink anything else then. Or if I'm having a wee civil night it's just sort of you know, like your standard WKD or some of ice. So it is. Um, so what products do I use? Oh, I 
I use my the Mark Love Pencil and the Shades Bites and my So So Barrett lipstick. That's sort of like a glassier one. And I'm gonna use my Primark Brow Gel. I've got it in pennies right now. It's one euro fifty. Don't know how much it doesn't start on. It's really dark though, so I need to like scrape it all off. Um. So I there do my best alcoholic combos. I wouldn't really be able to drink any of this, to be honest. I don't really drink it always, I know what this. Weirdly, I oh Lambrini wine as well, but it has to be the Lambrini cherry wine. I can't drink anything else, that's the only wine I'll drink. I won't go near anything else. But I think that's me now, you know. I'm not really bothered to do my hair because I'm not bothered getting curled out and stuff like that or straighten up because I think it's straight enough. So do you. Mm. Take my glasses off now so I can actually fix my hair. I think I like my hair a lot better when I put my glasses on. You know and I tie the top half of my hair up because you know, it as well. My hair needs to tie big time as well. I don't know. My forehead is absolutely massive, oh my god. Um, trying to think now. I think that's sort of, no I don't like that, oh my god. Why is my hair so ugly? Oh my, I actually look bald. Maybe we'll not do that. I'm going to stick the glasses back on. I love you on the cut. That's your keeps cropping up most of my head and no I think that's me now folks. I hope you enjoyed my get ready with me and my QA. If anyone else has any more questions I will put a wee question thing up on my Snapchat and my Instagram again or just pop them in the comments below and I shall do another QA very soon. That's if you want one, because if you don't want one, then I'll not do it. But I hope I answered everything, because I couldn't really put them all in. I just sort of chose the first lock. So if you have anything else, any other queries of how I do stuff, just pop them below in the comments and I will get back with another video and answer them all, hopefully very soon. Thank, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.